Hello everybody and welcome to episode 31 of the Pentagon Challenge. You join me one year into the future in the year 2020 and the question is which club have I found a job with? Uh, if you want to have a guess go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Um, you get half a point if you guess the country correctly and if you somehow know which club I've gone to then I'll have to give you a big thumbs up or something. Uh, but anyway uh, you a few more seconds to guess. Okay, time's up. Let's take a look at my new club. It's Shanghai Shenhua in uh, China. And this is a massive, uh, massive deal as far as I'm concerned. Um, they are currently bottom in the Chinese Super League. Um, I'll fix these kits in a moment as well. I'll, I won't forget. Um, but extraordinarily, a team like this are rooted to the bottom of the uh, Chinese Super League. They're predicted to finish sixth. So my gamble to uh, get myself back into employment and to get my profile uh, up uh, is to take a club that should be doing better and try and save them from relegation and then take them to mid-table. I was given the uh, job as a result of that. I wasn't anywhere near the favourites. But here's a look at the league table and you can see we're about halfway through the season. Uh, last year, uh, Shanghai Shenhua did finish in sixth but that looks like a pipe dream at the moment. Um, so let's go back. We're exactly halfway through the league season and incredibly Shenhua have only won two games as well as uh, five draws and a whopping eight defeats. They are among the worst goal scorers in the league and the defence is uh, also pretty poor to say the least. Uh, home record is bad, just the one win and seven and then away we've had to uh, see eight games with just the one victory as well. So what on earth is happening? Um, well, let's just take a look at the uh, schedule and just see what's going on. So the season started very poorly with uh, no wins in about nine or ten games. And then eventually got the away victory here against Yang Shu. And then a huge win, which should have turned the season around against one of the most famous Chinese clubs, uh, Guangzhou Henga. Um, they are currently third with Dan Petrescu in charge. And then they lost 4-0 just a few days ago. Uh, so that got the manager sacked. Uh, we'll find out who he was in just a moment. Let me uh, get the club um, history managers. So uh, Yasen Petrov had three years and 356 days in charge. But he had to uh, take the uh, P45. And he's by far a better manager than me. But he's lost the plot. Um, the Bulgarian has. Um, he's only got a smaller reputation than I do but he just did a terrible terrible job and that gave me the opportunity of a lifetime if I can make this job work then maybe just maybe my career will go in the right direction um, now let's just take a look at my profile again uh, the year has gone by I've only gotten the Continental C license um, I'm now able to study for a Continental, continental B which is terrific um, but I really, really need that one star to go up as soon as possible. It's, it's stuck at 20%. And uh, the fact that I couldn't win anything with Vasco da Gama uh, says a lot, really. Well, I had to wait an entire year. I was really, really worried. I had to go back to my backup save and start job hunting again. But this is my opportunity. Um, and uh, the one big problem that immediately strikes me is the goalkeeper has been injured quite severely just a few days ago so he has a broken finger and I'll need to uh, get in the transfer market immediately to replace him because the current goalkeeper we have is terrible to say the least he's, he's probably not good enough to play for my old Vasco team that he's that bad and you can see by the average rating he's done a uh, less than stellar job uh, so that needs to be dealt with immediately of course you saw the goals to um, you know the goal difference and there's only one real player making a difference to that and it's Vladan Karadzic he's scored four times in 13 games which isn't great but it's better than nothing and he is the club captain as well and um, he could be sold to a Ukrainian side if I really needed the money but uh, as you probably can guess Chinese clubs are very very affluent and I have a massive transfer budget uh, of six million euros to get through and then the wage budget is pretty healthy as well um, but as a consequence of that, the staff is not so good. I have a lot of them to bring in, as you can see. Um, 
but it's just going to have to be a rush, rush, rush sort of deal. Um, if we take a look at the rules of the of the league, um, <clears throat> so the transfer window is opened uh, tomorrow. Actually, so I'm here at the exact right time, but I can only make um, five domestic over 21 transfers, uh, unlimited to others. Uh, then the foreign transfers maximum of two. So I need to double check. Uh, when the foreign players came in or, or not so I can change them around if necessary um, and uh, see what can be done because I'm just struggling to uh, get my head around how poor the team is done uh, Champions League qualification you need to come first or second to get Champions League group stage you need to come third or win the cup which is my aim I'm going to try and win that FA Cup if I can to get the playoff um, and of course the famous rule in China is you must have a Chinese goalkeeper at all times and uh, the bottom two teams go down automatically so there's no safe haven you must survive by finishing 13th or better and uh, you're allowed a maximum of five foreign players with four um, you know you can, you can have one foreign Asian player so uh, that can be an Australian it can be a Japanese it can be any one from the continent of Asia but uh, Chinese Taipei, Hong Kong and Macau are counted as non-foreign so that's pretty important um, what else do you need to talk about uh, the training also needs to be worked out we have very few fit players because of the commitment just three days ago um, the team report I'll take a look at that now actually um, we've played a lot of long balls which is interesting uh, the pitch is in good condition attendance is very good average so we should have a good crowd today and I have no philosophies um, so let's just take a look at the squad report now uh, the best 11 according to the assistant is this so um, that's pretty much it you can see the weakness that I see is the left back and it would be great if I could get Radaby in that would be fantastic but apart from that the squad, the squad looks generally strong but it's just the backups um, that leave a lot to be desired. You can see right back, um, we only have one good right back. Uh, centre backs, we have two very good foreigners, um, but the reserves are poor. Um, left back position seems to be okay. Uh, midfielder centre, not so good. So I've decided to put in two defensive mids for my new tactic. Uh, left wing, okay. Right wing, okay. And then the strikers, not so good. We need to improve that uh, straight away. Uh, one of the young lads is upset. He hasn't been played very often. So I'm going to try and give him a chance if I can. But he's exhausted from a previous commitment. Um, and then let's just... Let me see, what was I trying to do? Um, yeah, so this is the tactic now that I'm going to use against uh, our opponents for today. For today, uh, Shang Dong, uh, Lu Neng. They are second in the league, so they're... Uh, the multiple champions so and that's also a very very difficult uh, assignment they are former Champions League winners as well they won it in 2016 but they are the all conquering Chinese side so far but I do believe uh, Shen Shua have a chance of being the next great Chinese club if I uh, can get them to be consistent again so there's the uh, average league positions over the years so um, We'll have to improve that wherever we can. And then what else do I want to say? Um, so yeah, a lot of fatigue. Um, yeah, you can see Karadzic probably won't play at all. We have another injury to the right and left back, which isn't so bad. But um, we'll just have to try and get through. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much the majority you need to say. But um, the one thing that you probably won't want to miss is how... Uh, Vasco de Gama coped without me and there is your answer they've sold a vast majority of their good players but they came 14th which is good enough to stay in the division but not good enough for the standard I left in my opinion so the Serbian successor of mine uh, Vladislav Heric um, he took the gamble of trying to stabilize the club's finances and uh, he sold a lot of my favorite players such as Sean McCarthy um, he let go of Boxall, which I don't know why, probably to get him a work permit or something. Um, yeah, he might have Chinese eventually, or not Chinese, uh, South African. Um, but he did go to New Zealand again. He got rid of 
Malachi for a big sum. He got rid of McCarthy. He got rid of Adolf and A. Sally, for example. And he only ever brought in the free transfers. Uh, but in fairness to him, he did make one really good signing. Uh, what was his name? Uh, was it this lad? No, it wasn't. Um, who was it? It was... Uh, no, it was a guy from the Kaiser Chiefs. This guy, Natuli. He got seven goals over the year, but he got off to a great start uh, throughout the year. So, fair play to Vasco de Gama for surviving, but they did not do as well under the Serbian as they did under me. And uh, I'm glad I got out in hindsight, but it took a whole long time for me to uh, leave the club. So, uh, job history, you can see um, achievements. I left at the 12th of June 2019, and I got my new job on the 20th of June uh, 2020 and the only other real serious offer I got was Luxembourg I was like no I'm not having that and uh, you can probably understand why that would have been a waste of my time going back to uh, Europe but anyway this is my big chance and in the next episode I'll live come this debut game against Shandong see how we get on and then we'll have to try and cope straight away with the Chinese FA Cup that's the tournament I would dearly love to win and uh, the standard set last season uh, where did um, where did Chen Chua come um, I don't see them uh, they must have been knocked out or something third round uh, let me see I can't find them uh, right quarter final no second fourth I'm not too sure there they are they lost in the fourth round of the cup so that's the standard that I'd like to set um, yeah so I, I don't see them in, they must have made it in the fourth round last year because that was you know because they did well in the league but this year they're not doing so well so yeah anyway that's a bit confusing but I'll see you again for the next episode I'll be sure to fix those kits and uh, introduce you to more players as I get to know them better but until next time thank you very much and I'll speak to you again soon bye